Hi everyone, it is Aya James. I got jobs of the mage lord aspect recently, and I did a couple of testings to see if it is a good aspect in general. And let's find out. First, a bit of context on the aspect itself. The mage lord aspect offers a up to 9% damage reduction if there is one enemy in close distance, and up to 27% damage reduction if there are three or more enemies. Also, we will need to use the key passive. VS mastery to be able to enjoy the benefits. One note is that it offers damage reduction, not damage reduction to close enemies. Meaning that if I'm surrounded by three or more enemies, I get the 27% damage reduction from distant enemies too. Second, there could still be confusions. What does close enemy mean? How close does this close here refer to? There are two common things to visualize the close distance. One, the range of the Frost Novak skill. It shows the full range of the close distance definition. Or two, the Stormbane's Wrath from the Nightmare Dungeon also shows the full range of the close distance. Okay, now we understand the Major Lord's aspect and the close distance definition. The Major Lord aspect also requires the key passive Years Mastery. Let's take a look at what we can get from this key passive. First, the Veer's Mastery increases 15% damage to shock skills. And since Critical Strike is fairly often, we can treat it as a flat bonus of 18.75% damage boost to shock skills. But it only adds damage to shock skills, meaning that it won't add damage to the Crackling Energy, as it is not a shock skill. And it doesn't increase damage to Frozen Orb or Hydra. So if you're running hybrid builds through Chain Lightning, Frozen Orb, and Hydra, it would not be that juicy as it appears. Second, the Veer's Mastery offers a 20% damage reduction to close enemies. And since Critical Strike is very often too, we can treat it as a flat bonus of 25% damage reduction. 25% damage reduction is a lot. It is as powerful as a defensive aspect already, like the Ever Living, or the Snow God. One thing is that it is specifically to close enemies. That unlike the general damage reduction from the Mage Lord's aspect, it won't offer damage reduction for distant enemies. So in high tiers, I got one shot from distant enemies too, even with the Veer's Mastery. So what does it mean to have both Mage Lord and Veer's Mastery? I switched one non-defensive aspect to the Mage Lord, trying to test how much tankier I can be. From my testings, if I am fighting against enemies 30 levels higher, it does feel much easier to face tank 3 hits from them. Ironically, I die a lot from this death pulse nightmare dungeon affix. Because enemies are gone, that I don't have the 27% damage reduction anymore. And if there is just a single enemy with a big hit, I still die before I have full disobedience stacks. For tier 90+, plus, I'm still not tanky enough that I can shut my brain off and jump into groups without dying. And the Skeleton Corpse Archer is still the worst nightmare. What if we use the other key passive, the Overflowing Energy? Let's go over the Overflowing Energy first. It reduces Shock Skill cooldowns from the Crackling Energy. So only Shock Skills, no cooldown reductions to Ice Armor or Flame Shield. Let's look at what it means for each Shock Skill. First, Teleport. You can see that with the overflowing energy, the teleport cooldown is largely decreased, and sometimes you can even cast one teleport every one or two seconds. As we usually run the shimmering teleport, it will be a consistent 30% damage reduction. And since we run the protection skill, it also means more barrier for further tankiness. Plus with the conceited aspect, it means more damage too. And with the Rayman Runic, more teleport means more stun. So more crowd control damage amplifier uptime for further damage. And less damage from monsters too, as they are crowd controlled, that they would not attack at all. If we have enough damage, enemies are taken down even before they can deal damage. Last, much more teleports means we can teleport to safer places more often, avoiding tons of damage too. Second, same for the lightning spear where the cooldown goes down extremely fast. So more stun for further damage and more crowd control that you can take enemies down before they can attack you, which would not need damage reduction. And third, the ultimate unstable currents. 
I collected a few data on the actual ultimate cooldowns with the two key passives. With the Veer's mastery, it is 52 seconds, and with the overflowing energy, it is 31 seconds. So the overflowing energy kind of doubles the ultimate uptime for further damage boost. Also, in my opinion, this is better than the flat 18.75% damage boost from the Veer's mastery, as it offers a burst window to take down hard to deal edits during the crowd control period which will make the fight safer too. The best defense is a good offense. In summary, if you like super casual playstyle, the Major Lore Aspect plus the Veer's Mastery is a way to go for a pure lightning build, like a pure chain lightning build, as it gives decent damage boost and decent damage reduction. It makes face tanking enemies within 20 levels higher much easier. If you enjoy pressing buttons, twice as much ultimate for burst windows, crowd control monsters and dodge monster attacks through skills, the overflowing energy will be your best pal. It is universally good and useful in tier 100 nightmare dungeons too. If you like the video, please consider sharing and subscribing for more sorcerer in-depth analysis. Thank you for watching and see you next time.